understand the pain and the suffering <laughs> that everybody who is into supernatural between the years 2012 and 2015 went. Imagine living your life every single day in pure agony, lying to yourself, deceiving yourself, disrespecting yourself, living a lie, thinking that Dean and Cassio are ever gonna get together. Delusional every day for years, but still, even the tiniest speck of reality creeping through your mind was smashed to pieces by Tumblr gift sets. It was like you were possessed every week, knowing that you were going to be disappointed, but still watching, going through it. It was like being in now. <laughs> <laughs> the masochism, astronomical. <laughs> Hold the fuck up. Okay, yeah, okay, election, I know, I know it's still crazy, I'm still stressing over it. But you are telling me, during the election, in the God-fearing year of 2020, Destiel just became canon? That show's older than I am. I thought it ended. What? Does this sound like a goodbye? Because it is. A little vampin. I thought you'd be shorter. This is 100% Dean's fault. He's not that Crazy cast season 7. I do not want to be alone. If it's a concussion, you have to keep him awake. Ask him questions. Dean, what's 7 times 7? Stop it. Well, as Christmas, I gave you my heart for the very next day. You said that was gay. <laughs> I cut my finger and it's bleeding. I just put pressure on him. Sam to his finger. <laughs> if you don't get a job, your family, <laughs> they will disown you. <laughs> no. Sam when Dean was in hell. <laughs> Sam when Dean was in prison. And there it is, the sound of no clapping. You know what I think the funniest thing about the Destiel stuff going on is right now? Is I never watched Supernatural. I think I watched like one or two episodes. But for anyone who's been in fandom or on Tumblr, Destiel was just like queer bait. Like, the definition of queer bait in the dictionary. <laughs> like, like in my book, the show must have ended years ago. Like, Destiel was in the queer bait hall of fame. Like, it was just, like, cemented as just this, like, icon of queer bait. This moment in fandom. And now you're telling me that they put my friends through all of that shit. <laughs> Just to add bury your gaze at the end? That's violent. That is that is violent. That is a crime. That is your heart don't stand a chance. Maybe I like men. Escucha las palabras de las brujas, los secretos escondidos en la noche, los antiguos dioses invocamos ahora la obra de la magia oculta. Esta noche al amanecer hemos llamado al antiguo poder. Aquí ahora las palabras de las brujas, los secretos que se esconden en la noche. A los antiguos dioses invocamos ahora, donde la obra de la magia se oculta.
don't know what it's like to be human. And Carlo experiences the human feeling of saying something and instantly regretting it. I'm, I'm at a loss of words. Narrating. Despite being at a loss of words, Bobby yelled at me for the next 25 minutes. <laughs> That's my mom. Can you get us a table while I find a parking space? Okay. Five minutes later, running from the restaurant with a table in his arms. <laughs> Dean, start the car! <laughs> Dean saying I killed Hitler for the thousandth time. I ain't never read two normal fan fictions. It's always one of them gotta be surprise M. Preg. I'm back. Guess what, Cass? What? I'm getting married! Smiling through the pain. Oh, that's great, Dean. Who are Slam down marriage papers! It's you, sign here! <laughs> What's dusty now? Excuse me? What is Destiel? <laughs> oh, what's so funny? It's just Destiel standing right in front of me. <laughs> Shut your mouth, don't you dare. Dare what? Imagine Cass becoming human and Dean trying to get him into classic rap, but somehow Cass gets introduced to Dubstep, and it's suddenly all he wants to listen to. Imagine Dean's face. <laughs> Supernatural writers making Destiel canon, I'm gonna create a gay confession that is so homophobic. I never thought it was possible to say a slur through facial expressions alone, but Jensen Ackles sure did it. <laughs> Hear me out, yes, the Destiel plotline is homophobic, but forcing Jensen Ackles to act out that scene was gay rights, so they cancel each other out. Supernatural, after recording a take of the confession scene when they successfully stopped Jensen Ackles from saying slur, see you in hell, you <laughs> you stupid fruit! <laughs> Jensen Ackles wasn't acting in that scene. He was really crying because he was so scared of a gay person being near him. I know Jensen Ackles is in physical pain <laughs> after having to pretend not to be homophobic for more than a minute. Jensen Ackles visibly trying not to hurl in the scene. <laughs> I hope Destiel being canon is what turns Georgia blue. Me too. <laughs> Cass confessing his untying love for Dean. <laughs> Why do you ship Destiel? Literally 10 minutes of every, basically every time Dean and Cass did the thing with the eyes, aka eye sex. Cass, I love you. Shot instantly changes to show Dean, me. Do you ever watch a show with a ship so good and with so much chemistry and the writers just choose not to take it to their full potential? Like you have that in your hands and this is what you do with it. Staring at Destiel? Same thing about the loud makeup sex is gonna have to drown out once these two idiots stop being mad at each other. <laughs> Watching the first episode of Supernatural with someone who's never seen it. The fire's reflection on real glasses. I think what do we all know what part they're watching? Oh my god, I don't think you mean oh I check. Sam Winchester on a date. More like awkward <laughs> running into an X. Roses are red, violets are blue. Yesterday was Tuesday, but today is Tuesday too! <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you could make it. Thank you so much for coming. Now I've got some news for you. I've got a gun. Tell 13 year old Jade that during a global pandemic where normal society has completely fallen to fucking pieces, where thousands of people are dying, there's a presidential election to vote out a fascist. And the one that might win is the old vice president. And we're grasping onto a few states that could potentially flip blue and change American history. What takes over the fucking news is the two fucking men from Supernatural going canon and then one of them immediately getting sent to hell. 
And I find out through that that Vladimir Putin might be resigning. I want off this year. I want it gone, done. It's like a reward. Supernatural stuff going on. I want to talk about the only case of barrier gaze that I think is this bad, and that's the magicians. So the lead character of the magicians, Quentin, is bisexual, and his whole arc is about overcoming depression. He had a female love interest very early in the show and then later in the show had a male love interest and throughout season four they were like teasing that he and the male love interest were going to get back together. Instead of doing that, they had Quentin sacrifice himself and then praise themselves and think pieces like, wow, look at us. We killed the white male lead. You had one of the only bisexual characters in television whose whole arc was about overcoming depression kill himself. And then at his funeral, his male love interest just sat there awkwardly in the background while the female love interest we hadn't interacted with for like three seasons gave a speech. And I wish this last part was a joke, but then they all started singing Take On Me like it was an episode of Riverdale. Literally everyone I know dropped the show after that. <laughs>